I studied the adverse implications of gun violence on the direct victims, their families, and the communities where these incidents occur. I study equity and justice as they affect disadvantaged groups. I'm interested in how conditions early in life affect individuals' lifelong trajectories, and specifically how policies affect these early life conditions and trajectories. I study the impacts of public programs and policies on individuals' health. In recent work, I'm evaluating the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. I am exploring how neighborhood inequality is linked to police brutality. I study how governments can utilize financial resources to improve their work. I'm studying cross-sectoral collaboration at the local level and its impact on service delivery. I focus on developing countries. I study uh, political violence. I'm interested in understanding why people uh, support politicians and other leaders and groups that seek to fan the flames of violence. I'm looking at the role of foreign fighters and other significant insurgencies to better understand how foreign fighters gain influence in an insurgency and what factors constrain them from gaining influence. We are designing and testing empirically scalable, out-of-the-box ideas to prevent radicalization to extremist violence and reduce polarization across groups. I study political violence and radicalization. And right now, I'm testing whether educating people about extremism also changes their beliefs about COVID public health measures. I just finished an evaluation of Police Body Worn Camera Project with a large East Coast Police Department. Based upon the findings, the department decided to equip all officers with the cameras. I'm working on a study exploring how prevalent bias victimization is among minority youth in the DC metropolitan area. I look at the impact of race and ethnicity on juvenile court outcomes. In other words, I look at the impact of being black and Latino as compared to white and how kids are treated once they go to court. I study the impact of gentrification on mass transit policing. By abandoning this relationship, I hope to shed light on the ways in which urban revitalization shapes the ways in which disenfranchised writers interact with the criminal justice system. Currently, I'm conducting 12 externally funded studies that are most generally examining the effect of the COVID-19 pandemic on the courts and law enforcement. My current research project, Shades of Justice, explores how skin tone influences students' perceptions of the criminal justice system, their occupational aspirations, and justice in general. In short, we know that race matters when it comes to the way justice operates in the United States, but skin tone matters too. I study the impact of political parties on both policymaking and relationships between elected representatives and the public. I work on American political behavior such as a turnout, vote choice, and campaign contributions. How national and domestic governments with their carrots and sticks and increased regulatory authority might be able to play a bigger role in helping resolve the climate crisis. I study humans both biologically and uh, sociopolitically. I'm currently working on a project with colleagues on uh, synthetic blood. I study Americans' political opinions, and I'm especially interested in the politicization of factual beliefs. For example, people on the left and right disagree about why our nation is so unequal economically. Conservatives tend to blame the poor, whereas liberals tend to argue the playing field is unequal. My research is focused on the United States and the politics of the United States with the concentration on the politics of race and ethnicity. I try to understand why people believe the things they believe and behave the way they behave in the realm of politics.